set, racing. McIntyre from the inside begins on terms and Sinner jumps well, but Gladwin doesn't look like he wants to lead. Compez, on the other hand, wants to be there for Hubbards and he's really riding him hard to try and cross the field, although now Ramodify and McIntyre are going to keep him posted and Baggins is in that division, so a line of four and Sinner. Gladwin had no, uh, well, he had no intention of leading and he'll just take the sit back off the speed and compare after being pratted wide's getting back. So McIntyre's held him out on the inside. So the favourite, the six, McIntyre shows out from Baggins. Ramodify, three wide and Senna smokes the pipe fourth and compares on its outside tight and compact two lengths top end to tail working to the 400 metre mark where McIntyre size is about to shake the favourite up and it comes around the turn a narrow leader over Baggins and Senna wants to run the inside and then remodified deep out and compares a bit wayward it's McIntyre the leader he's under siege here Baggins and now and Senna the inside goes for the run remodify and compare are putting in claims and Senna goes right up along the inside of McIntyre remodify and Senna baby it goes on the score for Gladwin. Wins a two on McIntyre, who fought off the challenges. He'll get second in front of Remodify third. I reckon Baggins fourth. Compare fifth. But Ann Sinner gives Spry a double on today's card. And Kimmy Gladwin, he never left the rails. Gets home here in the final event. Able to drive hard. McIntyre was under siege. Baggins was really serving it up with Remodify. And Compare, he's just a bit wayward today. Compare, he I think Barry had a bit of trouble trying to get him to cross the field early. He seemed to jump all right, but seemed to take hold a little bit of Baz. It'll be interesting there to read the stewards' report. But in the meantime, Kim Gladwin was the only one who didn't want to lead, and he sat off. He went to the rail, and it opened up nicely in the straight, and he goes on to score in good fashion. Number three, Ian Sinner. Had support in the betting too, and gets home here in the final event. Second one, McIntyre. Felt something was going to nab him in the straight, the five, and... Uh, it was to be uh, Ann Sinner, and third went to two, Remodify. Put a couple of nice runs together now, Remodify. It was a very busy race. They really got at it from the get-go, and uh, plenty with a hope. In fact, all five with a hope straightening up, but Ann Sinner gets along the rail. So three, one, two. Fourth goes to four, Baggins. He's uh, run better this afternoon. And fifth went to five, Compare, not beaten far. But the winner, three, Ann Sinner, a six-year-old Bay Gelding, Bella Spree. Cracker Cairn, owned by Sarah A. Cornley, D.J.D. Davis. So a double for the combination with D. Schuster and L.J. Miller. Trained by uh, Carl Spry and Kim Gladwin. So Carl Spry takes a training honours this afternoon with a double. Good day there. And the jockeys have uh, shared the honours here. Brendan Davis, Carl Spry, Vanessa Arnott and Kim Gladwin picking up winners on today's card. But three incendiary returns and that's a uh, win now two. From third, he's had the 11 minor placing, so consistent in prize money up over the $60,000 mark. So not too bad considering. And uh, put a nice run on the board leading into this. And Gladwin's read his brilliant best this afternoon. Staying to the rail, the shortest way home and gets the chocolates in the last. We stand by for correct weight to bring us home.